What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug. This is a gameplay preview of Tesla Force launching in early access on Steam June the 16th. There will be a free demo as part of the Steam Summer Game Fest thing that's happening soon at some point. But let's check out what this game is, what it does, how it plays as a pseudo sequel to Tesla vs. Lovecraft, a game I enjoyed quite a bit on the PC, on PS4, etc. Etc. So this is kind of more of a roguelike than that previous stage-based game was. If you haven't played it, go play it. But there are perks you can buy for temporary runs, right? And then there are also weapons you can buy for temporary runs. But you also have the permanent upgrade option here, which is under research, which is here somewhere. Uh, New Game Plus, no, there is definitely research, and I had found it earlier, and I don't know where it is now, so I am Nikola Tesla. You have different characters you, you can play as, but there's definitely, oh, right in the middle, I'm stupid. So research is permanence as part of your progression, even though it is a roguelike slash roguelite. Let's hop in here and check some things out in Tesla Force. So, I have options here in Chapter 1. I can go into Fix the Inhibitor, I can go into Close the Rifts, I can go into Destroy the Statues. Let's destroy the statues. That will kind of give you a path through these chapters. Now, I've played one run so far. It took about 20 minutes, I made it into the opening of Chapter 2, and then I died. Right? So, if you played the game that came before this, or you played any of the 10-ton games, 10-tons games, uh, in this vein, you are pretty familiar with what this is and how it functions. But yes, it is more of the top-down overhead dual joystick stuff that I enjoy ever so much. And it also has multiplayer, as in local multiplayer. So if you don't like playing by yourself, you have the option to play with some friends and wreck these creatures from the deep, uh, as it is all that Cthulhu mythos and that kind of thing. Right, so... That is what it is, and we are here to destroy these statues. There are additional weapons in the stages that drop. You have your good old-fashioned teleport, which is quite useful. And let's get that statue done, and it, there you go. Level cleared. Now, you can remain in the levels to get additional, say, crystals, and perhaps better weapons and that kind of thing, but enemies will keep spawning. And so, at any point, when you want to leave, you can say, you know what, I'm done here. Let me get a piece of the ship here, and then peace out. We done. Head on to the next bit of business. In between the stages, you get the perks. As if you played the, if you played the last game, you understand how the perk system works. So either having the crystals heal me, or having the, the teleport disintegrate enemies sounds like a good thing to do. You get those in between each stage you complete, and now I can go to either. Survive the Hive, or more destroying of the statues. Let's go survive the Hive. So there are a handful of different objectives you get in each of these stages. So, number one is find the Hive. And you can see there on the lower left, there is hay. Go this way, and find that Hive, and then go destroy that Hive. So, you get a monster surge as you have 73 seconds here to get this Hive analyzed. And I need a better gun here pretty bad. So there is a nuke here, and we'll do that, but what I need is a better gun. Yes, Ion Pistol is something. There, oh my god, there are some spiders, and it gets hectic. Uh, it gets hectic pretty quickly, as the previous game totally did. So, collect all of the parts for your mech, and then get that business going on. But right now, we are waiting on that thing to analyze, and then once it gets analyzed, we can leave the stage and do that. There are sub-weapons, there are obviously things to collect here in the stages, and we got another 30 seconds here until that goes, we got the, this is awesome, the fire rate booster. When you start stacking the fire rate boosters, it gets nuts, and that part I enjoy quite a bit. I'm not sure what the doom clock is, right? I know that they have not put in the New Game Plus thing just yet, right? But the Doom Clock counts up, or counts down, or it counts somehow, yes. Doom increases monsters, and you get increased damage. So it just makes things more chaotic. Three 
two, one. Uh, there we go. Got the data. And now I can just, you know, heal up and just get out of this stage. I was not sticking around for that horde of creatures to totally murderize me. Activate. Okay, so either Ion Pistol 3. Uh, I prefer the Tommy Gun uh, as my early on weapon of choice here. Before I get to say the Rail Gun is also pretty good. So Fix the Inhibitor is one of the more tri tricky stages. Because yeah, I got eight parts to this inhibitor. Uh, and that does perhaps take a bit of time to get that done. As you are constantly being marauded by these creatures from the deep. So there is that. I haven't found a sub thing yet. A sub class for my other type of deal. But we'll get there. But yes, Tommy Gun is pretty good. So we get one of these. And that is what? One of those. Two of eight. What do we got here? Shotgun. It's, it's okay. But I prefer having the just shots on shots on shots for these guys. And that ends up working pretty well. So with the right collection of perks, you can get pretty powerful here. Yes, it is a roguelite, roguelike type thing. So you're going to have these spikes in difficulty. But if the right perks line up in the right way... Good God Almighty, you can kind of wreck shop. Um, yeah, see that? Yeah, alright. We'll try it for a bit. Uh, you can pretty much wreck shop here, and it's quite enjoyable, right? And certainly, if you've played the last one or any games from this studio, and you already know what this is, you're probably already going to be on board with what this is going to be and how it plays. But it's launching in early access, so it's not done yet and there are more things to accomplish, and more things to tweak in terms of the difficulty, etc, etc. But I think what they built here currently in this build that's launching on the 16th uh, is pretty good. So, I dig it, and I'm going to play a bit more of it, perhaps on stream here. I don't know. We'll see. It's been busy lately for me, so uh, just getting this video done has been busy. Uh, we're at 7 of 8. Let's go find this last thing I need for this, and then finally, repair the inhibitor to inhibit the creatures coming through the time rift, or whatever it is, and repair, and then get myself extracted from that situation. What do I got? Occasional fire bullets or energizer, so I want the occasional fire bullet. Thank you very much. We have defeat the elite monster. B, Elite, B, V, Elite, or Close the Aether Rifts. I have not fought an Elite just yet. So we have our Doom events. So far is Monsters Deal, Additional Damage, The Dark Ritual, etc, etc. The Dark Order. I don't know, but let's head in here. I still don't have a... Oh my god, I hate those things. I hate those things, the polyps, man. They, they were a hassle in that last game. Good god almighty. Let's not get hit by that if we can possibly help it. There's giant whipping that is not, it's not great, man. I'm not feeling that. I need my, my, my mech suit to kind of handle this. Can you handle this? Can you handle this? It's, it's rough, man. So these, I think you can spend batteries to heal from those things there. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. It, the game didn't, didn't really explain it that well in the beginning, but perhaps I was not, not paying any close to the attentions. It's possible, man. Things happen. Video games. Right? Oh, another one? Another one. DJ Khaled. What are you doing to me, man? Come on now. Yes, crystals. So you obviously keep the crystals when you die in your run. And then you can spend them before you get to your next run. That is kind of the essence of what is happening here. Let's murderize this Elder Polyp. Yeah. Gonna kill you good with my mech suit. There we go. I murdered it. Now, is that the only one, or are there more? Because it's not saying, hey, you can leave. So, that's a problem. Let's see what happens here. Or if there's an, something even more elite than that. I don't know. Yes, give me the fire rate boost. Yes, please. That I enjoy quite a bit. But it's not saying I can leave yet, so... I don't know what the deal is. I mean, it may have broken. That's not out of the realm of possibility for an early access joint. Um, but I can't leave. I, I can't hit Y to leave. So uh, I thought I defeated the elite enemy. 
and perhaps it has to do with the, the Doom Clock? I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'm not gonna pop the mech here with no reason. Like, give me a reason to pop the mech, because otherwise, what am I even doing here? Like, what is the point? Uh, perhaps I broke the game. That would be the first time I've managed to break an early access thing uh, on this channel before. It's happened. Boy, howdy. So, I might have to die here and show how that, how that, and show, and show how that whole thing works, because honestly, I don't know what else to do. The enemies are not going to stop, because that's kind of how like, games work. That's kind of how this, you know, wave-based survival works. But I can't leave, bro. So, I thought I defeated the elite enemy, and the doom clock is still counting down. So, bruh. What am I supposed to do? Let's get Jacob's stick, which is kind of a lightning bolt type deal here. Zapping him. Zapping him. There's the... Alright, so that... I, I get that, and I can use that as my other thing there, so... That's helpful. Some fire bullets here, and really just... Like, you can keep wrecking shop, I guess. As much as you want, I suppose. But... I was supposed to defeat the elite enemy, and that didn't happen, so... Give me the X-Ray Blade... And, yes, that's a pretty good one. Wham, 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 wham. Love that. Um, but yeah, I think we're screwed here. So let's, uh, die. And then show how that works out when you die. Let's get one more crystal here. Actually, hold on. The Doom Clock. Let's, let, 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 let's allow the Doom Clock to hit the thing again to, and, and see what happens there when that ticks over. Doom increases! So increase damage to monsters. Uh, look, you know what? Just, just murder me. Just murderize. Nikola Tesla. It's gonna happen. Here we go. I have died. The end. One boss killed. 41 crystals, 935. So, that will unlock your progress and give you more items to get during your runs, which is important, like bullet sharpening. Very good. And there were the perks used, etc. etc. Game is still under active, de active development. You know, all that good stuff. But once that's done, you run back in for another run, and what you do is you head over here and you either spend some time on the research, getting better radar, being able to see the rewards for each level, being able to increase the mech shielding, and then, you know, more health, uh, more more teleport charges, which is, ve which is very important, and more charges for your abilities. And these are permanents. Whereas, if I bought any of the perks here, these are for your next run. In terms of what you want to do in terms of perks, abilities, and your guns. So you can start with better guns, if you want. And there are plenty of guns in the game. As you can see here, I haven't unlocked them all yet. I haven't played enough to unlock all of the better guns in the game. And see, that's like 9, that's 0, that's 36 for the Tommy gun. I... I have 41. I could totally get that. I'm not, but I'm not going to. So, you can see here, I can play as Madame Curie and do that. And she plays differently than Tesla. She has two guns, right? And there are also other characters to unlock as you progress here, like, let's say, Mary Shelley, who's not playable yet. And I think at some point, Lovecraft himself is playable as a character here. But you can see here, the cloning device gives you local multiplayer. So that is a thing you can do here in this roguelike roguelike called Tesla Force launching in early access June the 16th on Steam and a demo as part of the Steam Summer Game Best. Check it out. If you played that last game, it's a no-brainer. I think it's awesome. I'm having fun. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here next time. See you then. And I'm out.